Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo. Today is April 7th and Samsung finally pushed out the latest software update to the Galaxy S21 series. Now I know other regions and other locations has already had this update. This is the one that brings you the April 1st security patch, but this is not an everyday monthly security patch update. This one here has a larger size. It's 978 megabytes and the version ends in AUC8. Now the reason why I've been waiting for this update here is because it, it's a little bit more than just a normal security update it does bring a performance boost and an upgraded camera version as well as an overall device performance have been improved and then the security of your device has been improved as well and really what this one is bringing is the ability inside of your portrait mode inside the camera so instead of you only having your wide and telephoto to do your portrait shots you now have the ability of using the regular normal camera sensor so all we're gonna do is we're gonna download this update here and then we'll take a look inside of the camera just to see what it looks like so beforehand before this thing gets updated when you take a look inside of your camera let's say that you switch it over into portrait you can see that, that there is only two shooting modes so right over here this one is going to be your telephoto and then this one over here is going to be your wide lens so there will be a third option placed right in the middle or over here where it's going to say normal lens so this way you're not going to take a portrait shot with either of those two we'll also take a look at the fingerprint reader, the face recognition, internet messages, as well as device care, just to see if those also got brand new versions. So that's really what we'll be taking a look at in today's video, just to see what other things have been updated with newer versions. We know for a fact the camera will also have this newer version, including that additional camera sensor, that lens being used for your portrait modes. But it's usually at this point in the video that I like to state that if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy's Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information, and also the latest software updates on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. And please give this thing a big thumbs up. It does help the YouTube algorithm push this video to more and more people. So the software update is done and complete, but let's first take a look at a few different applications just to see if there's different versions. Then we'll go inside of the camera to take a look at those three different lenses that we can now use inside of portrait mode. So the first one we'll take a look at will be the camera itself. Now, originally when I wrote this down, it was 11.00263. This one is 11.00283. So this one is that newer version. Then let's head inside of the fingerprint reader and face recognition. So you go inside of the, the, the settings biometrics and security more biometrics here is that security patch so the original version was 5101 so this one is 5101 and then we did have 20012 and then 20013 so it looks like we have a newer camera version as well as a newer version of face recognition so that is where some of the the software update could have gone to then let's take a look inside of the internet because you can also change some of the, the, the security behind the internet usage. So this one used to be 13232. This one is 13232, so no new version of internet. Now the next one that I want to take a look at will be Samsung Messages. I am a Google Messages person, and so when we were looking at uh, the version earlier, it was 12110141. This one is 12129. So there is a newer version of Samsung Messages. Now let's go inside of the device care, just because I feel like if maybe the performance of the phone could have been improved, uh, then maybe they went through and also updated the device care as well. So about device care, the version that we did have was 12.2. 1, 2. So 12, 2, 1, 2. So this is the same version there. Now that we took a look at a few of those, now let's go inside of the camera, which is, this is really the main reason why I shot this video, is to show you that now inside of Portrait, you do have three camera sensors. So when you take a look at this first one right over here, this one is going to be your telephoto lens. This one right over here in the middle, this will be switching over into your standard lens. This is the one that was just added in. And then over here is still your wide lens. So originally, again, it was wide telephoto. And then now you have the ability of doing portrait mode with the regular lens because sometimes when you took pictures with portrait mode, and I understood why Samsung did this, is because you have a wide shot, you can get more into it, telephoto to give all that depth, but then sometimes you'd have to take a step back, you're a little too close to the subject or the person. Uh, so now when you put in that, that normal standard lens, you're not gonna have that pushback feeling and you're just gonna have the depth from here on out. So that right there has been the update, now available in the Galaxy S21 series. 
But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys have liked this video. If you did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side right over here. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. Go ahead, take a look. It's actually a really good video. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you.